All right, YouTube, before we get into this week's vlog about the Champagne Clown, I wanna give you a quick preview of next week. We're gonna look at the Redhead Clown. Finally, we're gonna get that rig reveal out. I've been looking forward to it so much. And we're gonna do it just in time for Halloween, October 30, that's next Friday. Make sure you tune in. All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. And for this week's vlog, we're gonna look at a project that's been a challenge um, and Honestly, it's been a lot of fun too. So this is the Champagne Clown Project. Um, the Champagne Clown has been one of those things where it's kind of love-hate, and the Champagne in general is kind of love-hate because they're so beautiful, they're so interesting, and yet it's really hard to change the, the Champagne very much because almost any gene you put into it makes it more and more blank looking, more and more just patternless, I guess. Um, so there's a few, just a couple genes that kind of work well with it. First one being Blackhead. All right, the next one being leopard, and the next one being inchy. Those three are the three that we know that have been shown that if you put it with champagne, it adds a little bit of deep, deepness and color, adds pattern to it. Um, theoretically, you can double up the leopard, you can double up the inchy. I don't know that you can double up the blackhead because I think the blackhead and champagne will prove to be allylic just based on the fact that we know blackhead and spider are allylic, and we know spider and champagne are lethal. So we got a little bit of, little bit of information there. So. You know, a few years back, I bought a couple het clowns. I bought a champagne leopard het clown from Cory DeLong, and I bought a champagne inchy het clown, and I'm trying to remember exactly who I bought that from, but they bought them as babies, and I thought, you know, in a few years, we may have some sort of, it kind of gives you a little bit of idea in my mindset. I thought, in a few years, we may have some idea of what we can do that's different with the champagne, um, and I want to be ready. I want to have a couple girls on the shelf when that happens. So fast forward, we made a couple interesting things. Last year, we had a lot of fun with that project. We made, um, some some cool combos we'll look at those together and then this year kind of out of the blue we made a really interesting surprise that may add yet another really awesome um, new mutation to the champagne that we know will make it better in the future um, we're gonna look at that as well so let's get into it and look at some cool snakes so one of the coolest babies we made last year was a leopard inchy champagne clown and she has grown super fast and you see here, it's really quite amazing. Although it's relatively low pattern, like you see there, it had kind of a, a faded stripe along the back. A little bit of side pattern there. Quite a bit of head pattern. But honestly, the leopard inchy clowns are extremely reduced anyways. So it's not that different. What is cool about this snake is it's very golden. It has a definitely a very different color tone to it than, than um, pretty much any clown I've ever made. It actually looks almost like the actual color gold. Really, really pretty, and she's growing up super fast. Very excited about her. So another really interesting animal we made last year. This is a, and I'm guessing at the, at the combo here, so the, I believe this is Inchy Leopard Spot Nose Champagne, and it's 100% head clown, and it's just absolutely completely full of pattern. Just spots everywhere, striping, and it's just a testament to, you know, leopard bringing in a lot of pattern. And spot nose also kind of changing that pattern. The cool thing, of course, Inchi, the cool thing is that it has two different colored eyes. It has a one silver eye and one black eye. I don't know if you can see that really clearly on camera. So the only negative to this combo is it has a slight spin to it, which you know I work so hard to make sure I pretty much breed snakes that don't have any kind of wobble or any sort of deficiency whatsoever. Um, but this combo does. I think it's a combination of the champagne and the spot nose together that does it because we know that champagne spider has issues. We know that spot nose spider has issues. So it makes some sense that the spider champagne would be a combo that we may want to avoid going forward. Um, I did one more test of it this year just to make sure that that was what was going on. And uh, we'll look at the base from that and then we'll look at our big discovery. So these are two amazing animals from my first clutch of champagnes this year. And what I did was, you see there, it does have a wobble to it, to the head there. What I did was a inchy Batman to a inchy champagne head clown. So this I believe is a super inchy champagne head clown. And this one I believe is a inchy champagne Batman. So because it has the spot nose and the champagne together, it does have a wobble to it. Um, it doesn't act completely normal. It still isn't, isn't as bad as I usually see on maybe even some spiders and stuff. Um, I'm still gonna avoid it going forward. But the amazing thing is, is that it has the, exactly the same eye thing going on, where it has a silver eye on one side 
and a black eye on the other. So it seems like there's some sort of interaction here. And I think it is a champagne spot nose that gives the, disc the different colored eyes, gives a little bit of wobble. It's an amazing looking animal, but ultimately something that I do not plan to ever try to make in the future. Um, a really, really cool combo though, to see the Batman and see a champagne clown with so much crazy pattern, so much black, so much pattern on it, and this one wants to bite me. But really, really neat to see. So for our last champagne clown clutch of the year, I had a leopard champagne head clown, and I really was really curious to see what I could do with it, and I did want to avoid the spot nose interaction, so, but I wanted inchy still, so I was looking for my options, and I have, well, I have an inchy red stripe clown male. Um, let me throw him in there and see what happens. And honestly, I didn't expect much of it, except for I was hoping to get some cool red stripe clowns, and I was also hoping to get some sort of inchy leopard champagne clown if I did get champagne. So honestly, I'd kind of written the clutch off, but we did the, the, the clutch cutting on camera, and I'll show you guys, just to, just to go back to that, how shocked I was when I saw the crazy results from that clutch. Um, the main reason I did that was just for the inchy. I'm trying to make more inchy leopard champagne clowns. Whoa. Okay, that's the craziest champagne clown I've ever seen by a long shot. That looks like a literal clown, even with it being champagne. Is it possible that Red Stripe's doing that? Like it would have that big an effect? I don't even know what to say about that. All right guys, yeah, I was blown away when I saw that. Um, I couldn't believe that that's how it looked and like what was making it that way. My mind was just literally like reeling as I'm seeing this. Like, what could we do? Could Red Stripe really be that big a deal? And what are the odds? You know, I, I'm very dubious when I just happen to do something and it happens to do well. Like, I'm missing something, something's wrong. Maybe you're not that lucky. Um, but it actually seems like it is kind of lucky, it just ends up that Red Stripe is actually very reactive. And that was really shown when we saw the last het to come out of the egg. I didn't even see it on the egg cutting. Um, it is so dark and so beautiful. Let's look through those babies and see what we learned. All right, so now we're looking at the babies from that clutch. We start with the, pretty much what the typical champagne clown looks like. This is what, from almost every champagne combo, clown combo I've seen out there in the past, this is sort of what they look like. They're basically blank. They got a little bit, a little bit of pattern in here on the sides, which is, is kind of variable as far as how much. Um, and this one has got a lot of gray, kind of a gray wash in the back. But to me, this is not something that's really worth striving for. Like, how hard do you want to work to make a clown like this when there's so many crazy combos? And clown combos right now are across the board going for more and more crazy pattern, not less. So now let's look at some of these other ones that really shocked me in the clutch. This one had more pattern, and yet it started to actually have an actual back stripe. Um, a lot of gold in it, just beautiful. I was really impressed when I saw this animal. And here's the one that just shocked me out of the egg that I had absolutely no expectation for. Look at that, it has a caramel stripe, nice black edging. Um, I know this is not as crazy as some of the other clowns we make, but from a champagne, we're onto something special here to actually make it a worthwhile combo and maybe down the road discover something about it that we can make with a champagne that isn't made any other way. So now we're gonna look at the two Hets, and these the hats are actually very, very insightful on telling what's going on here. So this amazing hat is an Enchi Champagne Het Clown. So you can see how much pattern Enchi brings in. This really illustrates extremely well, and it's a great framework to see how much crazy pattern we get from combining Leopard and Red Stripe on this next combo. That actually, to me, throws the whole champagne project on his head, even though it's just a hat. Check out, this is champagne leopard red stripe. Look at the, how dark and patterned that animal. We almost have, this is gonna seem kind of silly, we almost have the regular ball python pattern back. Like why are we trying so hard to make a regular ball python? We can just have regular ball pythons. But honestly, there's something about the richness of this the kind of fluidness of the pattern, how it's very bubbly and warm and, and um, very faded. and It's just got it all. It's really a lot of richness to this animal that I feel like is going to give us a lot, even outside of the clown, a lot of really awesome um, runway on this project, on the champagne, to see a whole nother level of combos a whole nother world of combos going off of what we already have. All right guys, that's it for the vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed just kind of experimenting, going a little bit of a deep dive 
on a champagne clown and like we learned on that and just the experimental side of things is always good to keep trying stuff because you never know what you're going to find out. Um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again on the next vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Leave a comment below. Appreciate you, every one of you. See you next week.